I don't want to do it. Eh? I won't keep driving, eh? You had one good run. All right, eh? I'm walking. No, no, stop. Fine, I'll do it. Eh? Everyone has to do it, eh? So this is my initiation? Eh? Yep, eh? Eh? Now you just have to find one Canadian goose, eh? And then you'll be an honorary Canadian, eh? 400 likes. And I'll find a Canadian goose. That was actually really disgusting. Thick, gelatinous maple syrup without any pancakes or waffles attached to it. I wouldn't recommend it. Grandpa Jack is a bad influence. He's making me do things that I otherwise would not be doing. And if he continues to have these good, good runs, I am going to have no choice but to listen to him. Last time out, Curious George won the Chinese Grand Prix. But our boy there, Grandpa Jack, shock but Anu was able to put himself up on the pole for the first time in about 70 years. Did I say pole or podium? He finished in third. While he was up there having the run of a lifetime, we were getting more penalties and ending up in, um... I think we finished in ninth. You got ninth, and then we had the fastest lap. So we were quick, but the penalty really set us behind. Six seconds worth, that'll do that to you. I just happened to have a hard time keeping it within the lines when there's a freaking monsoon happening as the race is also happening. A lack of grip is not good for the movie. Still six drivers haven't scored any points through two races in our 10 race season. Sergio Perez Hillen, Carlos Sings, are you fucking kidding me? And over there on the constructor side, you got Mercedes. I think that was the maple syrup talking. I can't fully open my mouth. Mercedes, Ferrari, Alfa Romeo, that's your top three? Haas is up there. Aston Martin is up there. These are all the teams that are outrunning Moves Motorsport. Red Bulls has 10 measly points. It's been a weird first couple of races. Absolutely nothing in development at the moment. And if you look, we are in dead freaking last when it comes to vehicle performance. So my only question is this. Why is no one working? Please! And thank you! Don't look now, we're getting closer! We are leaving some on the table on pit road! Let's upgrade that equipment! Yes, because Grandpa Jack is not nearly experienced enough! We've been running through Grandpa Jack's sim data, and they appear to be cutting it fine when it comes to their fuel load! Grandpa Jack was always great back in the 60s when it came to handling a load! We don't want this to occur in an actual race, how should we approach this? I am obviously not understanding what they're asking. They appear to be cutting it fine when it comes to the low. So it sounds like everything's going okay. But we don't want this to happen in the actual race. Speak to Grandpa to highlight the issue or... It so it's a lose-lose situation. In his old age, he should not be losing any sort of awareness. It's very hard to get him to focus on the race, to be aware of his surroundings, and not to be focused on the price is right. We'll talk to him about it, though I still don't know what I'm talking to him about. I think I'm developing a slight headache from drinking this Pearl Mining Company original light. Wanted to... Cut down on the calories. Thought I advanced time. I think it's starting to screw with my head a little bit. Thank God for the roll dampers. Ah, oh, Christ. The Mimi Grand Prix. It's not a track which I enjoy. It's a new one, and I already kind of hate it. The only thing that's, I guess, cool about it is that part where you go underneath the interstate highway, and then you got that long straightaway. That's some good good for Formula NASCAR. Other than that, the turns... The turns can blow me. Let's get to the track and let's get this video started. Let's go! It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. What a qualifying yesterday for George Russell. He'll start today's race from pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Hamilton, Sergio Perez, and Sainz. Verstappen, Ocon, Ricardo, and Kevin Magnussen. Gasly, Bottas, Guan Yu Zhou, and Albon. Mick Schumacher, Sonoda, Sebastian Vettel, and Lance Stroll. Villeneuve, Latifi, Oscar Piastri, and Sparkles. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. Welcome to Florida, where it's hotter than a Bigfoot pecker in the middle of July. We're already 
over a full race out on this thing. We're going to make up 30-something points, and it's race 3 of 10. We better score a dump. This is our home Grand Prix. I want to see the top step of that podium for Boobs Motorsport Maserati. Look at my man. Wait, did he start in 19? He might have started in 19. I was about to give him some yee -ye for making passes already right from the drop, but I don't think he did. So I'm going to withhold my yee -ye. This big ass stupid corner, everybody's just single file. Nobody making any passes. There's not a whole lot of spots for you to make any sort of passes here. That's what I don't like about it. At least for the AI, they seem to be a little bit skittish. Get in there, do something. He made up one damn spot after all that work I did for him. And then this part, look at this. Look at how slow we're going. This is Formula Day Star, man. We're not at the senior center with grandpa. Doing a fucking rascal scooter race here in Miami. I guess that'd be fitting. The average age of an adult in Florida is 97. This bitch does not seem, I overdrove the crap out of that one. He doesn't seem willing to actually want to move forward. I've been pushing him, but nothing's been happening. I do not need any more penalties. Look at the ground we've already lost. Look at how far behind we already are. Moves Maserati. It hasn't been all roses. It would appear that they all got bunched up, bottled up again, going underneath the interstate. What were they thinking, playing a turn that tight, that cramped? Don't you know you have to build tracks for Formula NASCAR to compete on? You can't have these tight-ass corners when you're building new tracks. Holy crap, he's making a move. Send it, send it. Ow! Get back on, get back on. Well, that initially gained him a lot, but then after the fact, it gained him very little. Just follow me. You know what? I was like, all right, follow me, but then I realized I didn't know when the next turn was. Make a pass, do something. You gotta lead us because I'm absolutely not useful. Did they have to kick a bunch of hobos out from underneath this bridge in order to build the track? That looks like a good spot to hang. All right, man, what? I mean, he's passing. We're up to 12. We, because I own that car at the end of the day. Please push and push and push. Why? I saw yellow flag conditions, but there was no car stopped. So I continue along. The handling of this car is for the birds also. Can't really turn the damn thing worth a damn. It's very tight. And these corners are very narrow. So I'm just, I'm having a hard time and I'm bitching about it. And you only get one actual legitimate straightaway to bump draft. This isn't a straightaway. It's a big old piece of elbow macaroni. Oh my God, we're getting closer. The whole, what the hell is that tire wear? We had the same thing last week. We might have a problem at Moves Maserati with tire wear. Holy shit, yep, we do. Because I got no control over this thing. We got to make a pit stop, bro. That's right. You know why we're having all this tire wear? Because it's 950 fucking degrees out. I'm glad I at least was able to help him propel him forward. Now he's a part of that next pack. Now I got work to do again, though, to regain. I got to get back to him. Which shouldn't be that hard as we approach the kinked up colon of Miami Speedway. I wrecked the guy. I was sitting there slow. And you, you, you see what we were able to do. I was still able to make it back. Have we ever had a safety car here? This could be a first. Don't even, fr are you I was scheduled. I was scheduled to make a pit stop this lap. Not freaking you. I'm gonna lose all my track position. And this is actually kind of a, a spot where you want some decent track position. It's kind of hard to pass here. This is unbelievable. I own this team, and three weeks deep, this motherfucker has replaced me as the number one driver. I actually, I might have been making a mountain out of a molehill. I didn't lose that much time because basically everyone was double stacked. I tend to do that. I tend to make mountains out of the molehills. I get a little bit animated before I know the full picture. Crazy old curmudgeon Grandpa Jack made up spots after the pit stop and is now rocking and rolling in the top 10. Magneto might have had the right idea taking hard tires. With how badly mine were wearing out after only a few laps, there's something wrong with this asphalt. 
the hell they use to put this place together? Are there little bits of seashell in this? Yes, Michael, because every road in Florida, they don't have proper asphalt. They put seashell in it just because they're a peninsula. God, you're so stupid. I don't know, it's like how all those roads in Philly are made out of bricks. I'm just assuming that they didn't know what asphalt was. What I thought was pretty cool on my recent trip to Wyoming was there were like a lot of parts of the road that were like, it wasn't like black, it was like red-ish. And I saw like a lot of red dirt and stuff in Wyoming. I think Wyoming has a lot of that. And I'm assuming that they, that some of that red dirt gets mixed in. I feel like I'm completely wrong and I'm just a, I'm a, I, Oh, I am gonna stop talking now. Wyoming, great state. I had a great time counting the cows. Does anyone else get the sneaking suspicion that Grandpa Jack and I are better tag team partners than Dom DeLuise and I ever were? Maybe because Grandpa Jack has the experience levels that I'm looking for and he's willing to actually make some friggin' moves. Well, we're halfway home. This is the mid-race report presented by Pirelli tires? I don't know. Cards handling is garbage, but I'm gonna attribute that to the garbage track that we're driving on. It's loose in spots, it's tight in spots, the tires are wearing out like a banshee, and I still have to make up 13 positions in the next six and a half laps. That seems doable. Especially when, like I was saying before, the corkscrew kink of the Miami Autodromo, whatever the fuck, slows them down this vigorously every single lap. I mean, I made up two spots by doing like, just going around them, like just driving around them like you would do. Did he just try to, Magneto just stole my tango partner. What a little slut. It's basically like I'm in a parking lot and I swooped in and I stole a parking spot down in those corners. Man, in Miami with the elderly? Oh, you could get shanked for that. I'm just thinking, technically, we are in the parking lot of the Miami uh, Dolphin Stadium. So the parking spot analogy actually makes sense. We need a good trip through here. We've lost a, a bit of a touch, bit of touch with the leader. All right, we did exactly what we needed to do even though we really didn't do that much. Let's see some big meaty moves being made on this straightaway. Oh, he's looking. Yeah, wow! Dom DeLuise would never! He got a little bit of a straightaway here. Not too much, but just enough to get a little bit of bump draft in him. And then he got to let off the throttle so I don't push him too wide. He smoked him anyway. Did you just let him by? Crap! Don't you let another bite! You're letting them all fly! You can do this. You can. It's not that scary. There you go. Ow! Did you hear that crunch? Pretty sure I just broke. Maybe Sergio Perez Hilton's femur? This has been one of the tougher. Oh, crap! We're not gonna be able. No, yeah, take it back. Take it back. I like being the pusher. This is one of the tougher. Don't hit him. Formula NASCAR races that I can recall in recent memory. The handling is just so far out there. Don't you drive into my driver! It's just not comfortable trying to navigate this track each and every lap. And then working with him, what happened? Yellow flag. Someone might be detonating in this pack. It seems like it's following us. Yeah, sorry. Oh my God, he's out! I saw something going on in my rear view. It looked like he was slowing just a bit and yeah, he, it, it seems like the engine has let go for him. What the hell was I saying before that bastard rudely interrupted me? Pretty sure just that I hate it here and I can't wait for these next three and a quarter lap to be finished. What the hell? Did someone hit my ass? Oh, my DRS is, he said it was stuck open? Well, that'll give me a crap ton of slipstream but I'm gonna have no grip in the butt. Oh, damn. This this might not be good at a track where I've already been struggling with the handling, and now I gotta deal with this shit. And because of that, I've completely lost concentration, and the leaders have left. We're coming back, though. We're coming back. 
We were coming back, but not anymore. Sorry. I don't know who I just cleaned out, but I'm gonna chalk that one up to my open DRS system. Yeah, it's just wide the fuck open. They still haven't fixed it. They can't figure out how to fix it. I think Grandpa Jack is up to third. He is driving the wheels off of that thing. I saw a yellow dot, and he isn't where I left him. Typically, I have to hold Grandpa Jack's hand when we go to the market. But when he gets out of the racetrack, he's like a different human. Let's go, Vegetable. You could use some points, as could I. He's up to fifth. All right, I think he's falling a little bit. Since when I, I swear to God, he was up in third spot or something. He was close to the lead. Round on the outside. We're coming. We're coming, mate. Oh, I was going to try to give him a little bit of a shot. Let's go. Let's go. Get it in there. P2. And we're at P3. And Chuck Norris will probably hammer the brakes. Nah, he's the leader. He doesn't have to hammer them. It's everybody behind us that's hammering those brakes. What, caution? It's probably just because everyone's going slow AF through there. He's getting the room. He's making the pass for the lead. Grandpa, this is your trap. We're in Florida after all. The state of the elderly. Don't you dare, Eclair. Don't you dare steal this away from him. He is a champion. You treat him with respect. Moves Maserati leads with one to go. Let's not fuck this, OK? Let's not, let's not take this. Take this away from him. I don't want to send him too deep into a corner. I still have the DRS open. Shit. Oh, wait. No, it fixed itself. It's finally fixed. Well, it still handles like crap. They're side by side. Chuck Norris. Oh, he got big loose. Grandpa Jack got big loose. But Chuck Norris, I believe, has led like this entire race. He's been up front. And now here we come. Trying to steal it from him late in the going. Where the hell did you come from? Three wide. Do it. Do it. Do it. You gotta run. Maybe you don't. I didn't even realize that that... Crap. I might have pushed him too deep. He had to slam them brakes. But you know what? This is okay. We are gonna get a juicy, a big old juicified run. Down this back straightaway. I'm gonna push him. I'm gonna push him hard. I'm pushing for all it's worth. But you know what? They're three wide. Where are you? Where the fuck are you going? Can you see what you're doing right now? They are going four friggin' wide. I gotta, we gotta go. We gotta do something here, man. Are you kidding me? We are, what the, Grandpa Jack! Grandpa Jack! Okay, there's been an incident on... Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. And that's the checkered flag. What an amazing victory in what has been a great Miami Grand Prix. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? I think we'll chalk this one up to a deft touch on the brake pedal. That's a lesson. We both more. Congratulations could have been to up the there. Team for their if not win today. for the cataracts that have overtaken Grandpa's eyes. Oh, my God. My mouth tastes like shit. I can feel my throat clogged a little bit. It's like lining my esophagus. It's a little bit hard to breathe. I don't know what it was. If it was him trying to teach me some sort of lesson that I just don't understand because I'm too young or if I just fucked it. Honestly, I want to see the replay because I don't know what happened. Don't have a single clue why I'm invisible at the moment, but here we go. I was pushing the crap out of him. Botox actually uses his noodle. I shoved him way too deep. At this point, I didn't know what I was doing. The race was gone, we lost the race, and okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I kind of was cutting the corner, trying to take fourth away from the guy, but I was pissed because of the way that it went. And he got big time loose because I just drove into his door, and then he gave me this little shimmy, this little shot with his left booty cheek and somehow that shot me around. How in the absolute fuck that 
I don't understand those physics whatsoever. That must be a Moves Maserati special to use your left rear and pancake a guy. Get it pancakes because of uh, the maple syrup. Smacks him so hard, it whips me around. I think he caught my right rear a little bit and that carried me. Yeah, I'm, um, he's, he's not upset. He's just disappointed. Now something the fuck happened to Curious George here right at the end. I don't, I don't know. He didn't finish. He's in ninth, but he didn't make it to the end. Which one of us hit him? Look at those two. Wow. I mean, he had a couple of moves Maserati. Just 10 sideways. <laughs> It's not funny because we didn't score any points. I don't honestly have a fucking clue how Acorn won. Botox ends up in second. Eclair, Vegetable scores some points finally. King Louie, Magneto, Little Mermaid, Ricky Ricardo, Oscar Mayer Wieners in his very young F1 career scores some points in the Alpini and Stroll in the Park actually scores a day of points. And yeah, here's uh, the rest of us. One DNF, Sergio Perez, Ellen, well, um... He crossed the line though, didn't he? crossed the line. He finished 4.4 seconds off of the leader. He should have ended up in 10th. And they put him down to 21st because you rip a wheel off? Just because you don't cross the line with all your wheels intact? You're telling me you don't get that one point? That's kind of bullshit. We fucked, we fucked a lot of, we, Chuck Norris, we screwed him, screwed ourselves, screwed Curious George. Oh boy, I can feel the sugar rush coming on. A third of the season is over, and we are on the doorstep of mediocrity. Three points to our name after three races. That's basically three 10th place finishes. We can't even consider winning a championship at the moment. 48 points, we are nearing two full races out of the points lead. Do you understand how damn lucky we're gonna need to be and how damn good our finishes are gonna need to be the next seven weeks in order to get back into this thing already? Eclair inherits the points lead, 51. They got Curious George with 40. Botox, who finished in second spot, he's still killing it. He's up to third. Acorn, your winner in fourth. He's like, uh, Grandpa, uh. Grandpa Jack down to ninth because he didn't score any points. You know what though, we're gonna take something positive away from today. He showed again that he knows what the hell he's doing. Dom DeLuise never knew what the hell he was doing. I had to hold his hand all the time. I don't have to hold this man's hand. He is capable, just a little bit slow on making certain moves, but it's okay. He's gonna get better. We're gonna get better finishes. We're gonna get him a win. And he might be our ticket to a championship this year. It might be over for me. Because if you look at the points, I have three. It has been an interesting start to our year uh, with Moobs Maserati. I believe that we can turn it around. <laughs> yeah, not, not next week. It'll be, have to start the week after that. Our season's in the shitter, and you're telling me I have to go to Monaco to try to save it? Good luck with that! Oh, I can't wait till next week. I can't, you, I complained about the corners at BB. <laughs> oh, how tight they were, how bad the car handled. I complained about BB, and we're going to Mana Mana. Buckle up, Buttercup. Hoist those britches up high and get the job done. Get to work. That's all that can be done. I am done. Not in this season, but with this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I love... God, I made sweet, tender love to you right there. I love every single last one of you. Thank you for allowing me to do this. Um, honestly, I'm actually a little bit questioning that today. I don't know how much I want to do this. Uh, we'll see you next time, everybody. I'm out. Goodbye!